The small observatory I built last year is entirely remotely and wirelessly operated. I control the observatory from my lab located in this corner of the cottage. The observatory is all the way out here in an old corral I used to use to train horses, but which has been retired and renamed the Space Center, as it is the place from which I launch drones and plan to build another observatory, maybe even two more, and one day perhaps even a warm room right in the area. But when I built the observatory, I was faced with the question, how on earth do I control the telescope and mount and the camera and everything else all the way out there from the lab? One option was to control the mini PC that was controlling the mount telescope and camera with the laptop and walk out there several times during the night and just check on things and make whatever adjustments were necessary. Another option was to dig in ethernet cable, which it's in range for ethernet cable to be dug in. After all, Google Earth indicated the observatory was just under 80 meters from the lab, but the ground on this mountaintop is very rocky. It looks like dirt down there, and it is, but in some places the dirt is only a couple inches deep, while in others it can be several feet deep. It's unpredictable. But what was certain was digging in Ethernet cable would have been laborious and doubtless would have involved breaking some rock along the way. Digging that trench would have been a backbreaking project which would have occupied several days at least, and there would have been other problems with laying down an Ethernet cable because I keep a garden over there. And I'd have to be very careful to put the Ethernet cable someplace that wouldn't be affected by occasionally rolling a tractor over the region, and even more careful not to accidentally till it at some point. So, after careful consideration, Wi-Fi seemed the best solution. But getting Wi-Fi across 80 meters was a problem in itself. I found the solution in the TP-Link Deco AX3000 wireless expanders. And the solution came from two facts. One, these expanders have a directional ability. Maybe other expanders do, but I know that these do. And what they do is they sense the direction the other expanders are, the other parts of the network, and they concentrate projection of signal in that direction. So I think the directional signal projection allowed me to get a bit better signal reception out to the observatory. And maximizing signal projection is really important in these parts. Nights can be very humid. Sometimes there can be a heavy fog. And in particular, there is that hedge of trees, which is an extension of the woods that surround our home that passes between the cottage and the observatory. And trees are remarkably good at blocking Wi-Fi signal. And I was entirely unwilling to cut the trees down, so I had to find some way to work through that. So I got a set of the TP-Link expanders and set them up. There were three in the set. One lives in the observatory, one is in the house, in the lab, where it serves as a router, as well as the base of the entire expander system. And one of the expanders is about a third of the way between the cottage and the observatory, and lives on a post beside our strawberry beds. That places it about 30 meters from the expander in the lab, and about 50 meters from the expander in the observatory. And that expander's purpose is to boost the signal between the observatory and lab. However, when I put the three expanders in place, using the default 5 GHz signal, in terms of signal strength, usually I would only get one out of four bars. And I thought for a while I was going to have to go ahead and dig in that trench and lay down an Ethernet system to control the observatory. But then, a little additional research revealed a very interesting fact. 2.4 GHz signal has much greater range than 5 GHz signal. It's a little more prone to suffering interference by other routers that may be operating in the area. And it doesn't move information quite as quickly. But for the purposes of controlling an observatory, that's more than adequate. 2.4 GHz signal moves information plenty quickly enough to relate all the data and telemetry and control signals to and from the observatory. And should you be inclined to transfer your images by Wi-Fi, it's probably enough to do that as well, unless you're using a camera that shoots really huge images. The difference in range between 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz signal is quite substantial. On average, 2.4 GHz gets three times the range of 5 GHz signal. 5 GHz is good to a range of about 15 meters, while 2.4 GHz is good to a range of about 45 meters. So that's 45 meters from the router to the first expander, and another 45 meters to the second expander. And if you live in an area where there is little to no other Wi-Fi interference, you can push those ranges even further. So I switched the router's operating frequency and immediately saw a huge difference in performance. And even in a heavy fog, I now get four bars of signal as much as 50 meters past the observatory. So if you've been fretting over how to control your AP rig at range, 
Maybe you don't want to rely on Ethernet cable, or you've been struggling to deal with a weak Wi-Fi signal. A set of Wi-Fi expanders, especially a set with directional capability, will improve the quality of the Wi-Fi signal. And if you switch from a 5 GHz signal, which I think is the default on many routers these days, to a 2.4 GHz signal, you'll get a much more powerful signal with much greater range. And as long as you don't live in an area where there are a great deal of competing signals to cause interference, that should work just fine. Once you have your Wi-Fi signal worked out, then you can just use your favorite's remote desktop application to control your astrophotography rig. Over time, I've tried quite a few, but Google's is great, and the Windows Remote Desktop is even better. And best of all, they're both free. If you feel the strategy will help you to control your AP rig, give it a shot and let me know how it goes. If you do live in an area where you have a great deal of competing signal, I would love to know if you found that you could still control your astrophotography rig with a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal. Well, I hope that helps you in your nighttime imaging. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or thoughts, please leave them in the comments section below. Now, as always, get out there and shoot the sky.